Hi, welcome to Nikki's Modern Mediterranean. I'm Nikki Klekis, wife, mother, CEO, and entertaining expert. On today's episode, we are gonna be making fried kolikithaikya, or better known as fried zucchini chips with a garlic yogurt sauce. To get started on making our fried zucchini, we're gonna take, you could take three medium zucchini. Today I have some small ones, so I'm gonna do four. My kids love these, so you can't go wrong with making more fried zucchini. So I'm gonna cut off. I've just washed this, I'm not gonna peel it. We're gonna keep the skin on, washed and dried it, and I'm gonna cut them on an angle. You could cut them in circles. I'm gonna cut them actually on an angle, so I'm gonna show you about a quarter inch thick. And we're gonna lay them down just like that. We're gonna lay them on our, I've just lined a baking sheet with paper towel. And I'm gonna use this for cutting them, getting them in the flour, and then after we oil them, after we fry them, we're gonna to need to let them dry as well. So we're gonna cut that. So. Those look like nice big zucchini chips. You know, sometimes you'll see them in a restaurant where they cut them nice and thin too. Um, for this one, I like them a little bit thicker because we're gonna make a really delicious dipping sauce with them. So this is a really popular, and you'll see this at almost every Greek restaurant and all over Greece because a lot of people will have their own gardens and you're gonna be growing all these vegetables. So sometimes you'll see fried zucchini and eggplant. It's really whatever you have, but when you grow all these vegetables and you have an abundance, you wanna make sure that you're using these vegetables as many ways as you can. So frying or stewing them or roasting them, all of those things are delicious. In a lot of my other recipes, you'll see that I'm using a lot of the same ingredients. They're all homegrown vegetables. So we've cut our zucchini and they are, they look great. We've got nice big thickness in them so they won't really burn when we're frying them. And now we're gonna get ready to prepare them to be fried. So we're gonna use two cups of flour, two cups of water, and we're gonna salt and pepper our flour instead of salt and peppering our vegetables. At the end, we'll add a little bit more salt too, but we're gonna use um, a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And we're gonna mix that together. I'm gonna use a fork, kind of blend that together. So the seasoning is in our flour. And here's our water. So we're gonna do flour, water, then flour. We're gonna dust off the excess and put them right back onto our paper towel baking sheet. And the reason we're gonna do the flour and then the water and flour again is so that the water will help the flour bind and it won't wash off when we put it right into the oil. And it's gonna give that really beautiful color. So we'll do that. So you dip them flour, water, and then flour again. And then you're gonna see that nice good coating of the flour onto the vegetables. We have floured our zucchini and they are ready to be fried on the oil. So we're gonna to go to the stove. So to fry these, we're gonna use two cups of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is great because it won't burn. I'm gonna put this on high heat and let this get nice and hot. That's very important. You don't wanna put your zucchini unless it's, the oil's nice and hot. So I'll show you a little trick. Let that heat up. To make sure the oil is hot and ready for your zucchini is I'm gonna take a little flour and just pinch it on top and you see how it sizzles? That means our zucchini is ready to go in. So we're gonna take our zucchini pieces and drop them into the oil. See that sizzle? It means it's nice and hot. 
So we're gonna put them all in the oil and you need about four minutes on either side. If you need, use a nice big pan, you'll probably be able to get all of them in at one time. So the zucchini look great, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna flip those. See that nice, pretty brown color? That's exactly what we want. So we're gonna flip those. It's about another four to five minutes, and our zucchini will be ready. These look great. I'm gonna take the zucchini out and place them right here on our paper towel lined baking sheet. So we can let the excess oil drip off. And then we'll make our dipping sauce. So our zucchini is all fried. I'm laying them down on the paper towel so that they can dry and we're gonna make our garlic yogurt dip. Delicious. So to get started, we need garlic. We're gonna use two cloves of garlic. So I would just chop this up and put it in the food processor, add all the other ingredients and let that make the dip nice and smooth and creamy. But if you didn't have a food processor, I wanted to show you a little tip. So we're gonna take our garlic, just gonna cut the tops off here. Okay, I'm gonna pound it down as much as I can. And then I'm gonna give it a nice little dice here. So this would be a trick if you didn't have a food processor. This would be how you would really mince your garlic. So we're gonna put that down. Then I'm gonna add a little salt. So I'm just gonna add a little salt to this. And I'm gonna start taking my metal knife and just start mashing it and this will then mince your garlic so i'm going to mash it down and keep doing that like that and the salt is what helps get this garlic into like a little paste so if you didn't have a food processor you could do this and then whisk together all the other ingredients to make this delicious dip. Look at that. Nice minced garlic. But today, I do have a food processor, so I just wanted to show you that little tip, but I'm gonna add this right into my food processor. Then we're gonna add one cup of yogurt. So this is Greek yogurt. I always recommend don't use the, um, the non-fat. It needs a little flavor, so this one's 2%. You can use 2% or whole fat, whatever you like better. And put that in there. So we're gonna let the garlic and the yogurt mix really well together. I'm gonna stop it and scrape down the sides with my spoon because I want the garlic. Oh, you could smell the garlic already. Put this in. And then the next ingredient we're gonna add is our milk to really thin it out. So I'm gonna keep this going. I'm gonna take this out and slowly add in our three tablespoons of milk. I'm gonna add that a little bit at a time. And the milk is gonna thin this out to make it more of a nice dipping sauce, not too thick. So we're gonna do that a little bit more. Add that in. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Remember, I minced this before and I had used a little salt, and really you don't need a lot, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more into this. We're gonna pulse that together again. And our dip is ready. It's a beautiful, nice, creamy consistency. So I'm gonna take this off, and now we're gonna get started on plating our zucchini. So I'm gonna take this out of the way, and I've used you know, these are mezze. So mezze for Greek cooking is just appetizers that everyone can share and enjoy. And so you really just want to make these just on family style platters so everybody can kind of kind of graze around all of these. So I'm going to use parsley for color to garnish this. And I'm going to put this right down on the center of this platter. So I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to take my zucchini chips 
and kind of lay them down. Nice and pretty on this platter. And if you want, you could just add a bowl on this platter and do your garlic yogurt sauce on the side for everybody to dip. But for me, I really, it's all about the presentation. So I'm gonna actually show you another tip where you can put the yogurt sauce into a squirt bottle and we'll just drizzle it right on top, which also is a great presentation. That looks great. I need a little more parsley. Our platter. So our platter looks great. Now I gotta get our yogurt sauce. And now that we've loosened up this kind of dipping sauce with the milk, it will be easier for us to use out of this squirt bottle. Drizzle that. Oh, that looks so yummy. I wanna get it on all the chips. Beautiful presentation. And it's gonna be delicious. Look at that. Delicious. Can't wait to eat it. Our zucchini chips are ready to be served. I can't wait to eat these tonight. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. For the full recipe, visit NikkiGlekis.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy.